people around the world watch today as Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, one of the most iconic buildings anywhere, went up in flames. That's right. ABC's Julia McFarlane has the latest details. The moment the spire fell, captured on camera to gasps of anguish. Oh, my God. Paris's iconic Notre Dame Cathedral gutted by flames. Firefighters working to tackle the blaze, but it was not enough to save the historic steeple. Having surveyed the scene, French President Emmanuel Macron, visibly emotional, pledged to rebuild Notre Dame, Paris, dans cette cathédrale Notre Dame, saying he would seek international help to do so. Grieving crowds praying for the church, even breaking into holy song. Ave Maria, Hail Mary. Notre Dame has stood overlooking for more than 750 years. Unlike the modern Eiffel Tower, Parisians see this Gothic church as a proud symbol of their city. The catastrophic fire breaking out during Holy Week, the most important week on the Christian calendar. So this is a hugely important place for Catholics, for the history of France. And it has been at the center of the story of the Parisian people. The cathedral has recently been undergoing renovations. Only last week, statues of the apostles were taken out as part of the ongoing work. Offers of assistance and emotional messages of support are flooding into Paris. The Notre Dame, more than a church, more than a landmark, but a tangible symbol of Paris and France. It's welcomed and sheltered visitors around the world, many now paying tribute and praying for this special place. Julia McFarlane, ABC News, London. And the cathedral, not just a French icon, but a sacred place for the Catholic Church. The Diocese of Sioux City extending its sympathy to those affected. Certainly I want to pray for all of those people who are affected by this. Uh, and our hearts go out to them. I think the entire world is grieving the loss of this sacred space. But with the, the coming glory and hope of Easter, hopefully they rebuild and find new life in their faith.